kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. Bicycle. It was a big day. Mommy and Daddy gave Candy her very first big girl bicycle. <gasps> Surprise! <laughs> Hooray! Now I'll be able to enter the big bicycle race with you guys. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wait, I just remembered I don't know how to ride a big girl bike. You'll learn to ride without training wheels in no time if your brothers give you lessons. <laughs> yeah! It's pretty easy. Yep. Candy was very proud to show off her new bike to their friends. Look at you! Candy, you look all grown up on your new bicycle. It's beautiful, Candy. When are we going to start the race, everyone? Well, we have to teach Candy how to ride her new bike first. Uh... It's easy, Candy. Watch! Cookie rode so fast, poor Candy could barely follow what he was doing. Get all that? No. Well, just give it a try anyway. Ah! Well, that didn't work at all. Here, I'll show you the proper way to ride. Pudding did just what Cookie did, only much slower. Candy watched as closely as she could. Ah, I don't think I can do this. Watch, this is how you turn. Look, the most important thing is that you pedal really fast. Um, I think the most important thing to learn is balance. Ringing the bell is important because it sounds so very pretty. Candy tried her best to remember all of her friend's advice. Come on, Candy, you can do it. Ah! Ouchie. How will I ever remember to turn with the handlebars and pedal really fast and keep my balance and ring the bell at the same time? Well, if you start at the top of a steep hill, you won't have to pedal hard to get so fast. But, Cookie, how will I keep my balance? Uh, uh. Then for balance, we could just put really giant wheels on your bike. Ah! But pudding, wouldn't that be sort of dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> we should just tie a rubber band to two trees and then... <laughs> nah, we should tie some pretty pink balloons to Candy's bike. You'd stay well balanced and look just lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna learn to do this. Ah. Chase's daddy had arrived to start the big race. What was Candy going to do? It's time to start the race, little ones. Here's the starting line, and the finish line is at that red flag. Be good sports and have fun. But I can't. Hooray! After I win, I'll come back and show you how to ride, Candy. I promise. But if I win, I want to be the one who teaches her how. On your marks. Kids, get set. I'm going to win and teach Candy how to ride. No, you're not. All right, don't give up, Candy. Just try to keep your balance. Uh. Now just try to pedal. Uh. Balance, pedaling, turning, and ringing the bell as well. <laughs> yeah! Meanwhile, the competition was getting pretty fierce. I'll teach Candy way better than you. I will! Whoa. Uh. 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 You guys look funny when you're all stacked up like that. Huh? huh? After a dramatic four-bike pileup, the winner is Little Candy! <laughs> Are you kidding us? Hey, hey Dad. Dad! Hey, Mom. Mom! Candy learned how to ride her big girl bike all by herself. It was awesome! She won the race and beat all of us. That's right. I had a feeling everything was going to turn out all right. Well, it didn't turn out so great for us because we lost the race. We didn't even finish. <laughs> Candy learning how to ride a bike is a win for the entire family. Because it means we'll be able to go on bike rides all together. There are trails all around our park. Daddy had already mapped out their first family bike ride picnic. Awesome! And when the family is on a long ride, we'll all be wearing our glow-in-the-dark bicycle safety vests. All right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Candy may have won the race, but the family got a new way to have fun together, which is the best prize of all. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kittens go diving! One day, Daddy took the kitty cats to visit their grandpa, who worked and lived in a lighthouse. Hey there, my kittens. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Meow, my boy. You can just head off to the factory, and we're going to have a fun time. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. 
<laughs> Ocean's very calm today, which is great because we'll all be able to go swimming underwater. What is Grandpa talking about, going underwater? How's that gonna work? I don't see a submarine around. Hey, hey! So, are you ready? It's scuba diving time! Wait, it's what time? Diving time! We're going scuba diving underwater! <gasps> but how will we breathe, Grandpa? You're going to have special containers with air in them! How are we going to see underwater, Grandpa? With special underwater masks. But won't moving be hard? Nope. You'll have flippers for that. Along with these swanky special rubber outfits. Scuba diving takes a lot of stuff. Why swim underwater at all? It's awfully wet down there. We're looking for a beautiful, precious, special seashell over near that rock. Last huh? one in's a rotten hairball. Come on! <gasps> Kittens, I'm waiting. Let's go! <sighs> Under the water, the kittens felt like they were light as a feather. <laughs> a sea monster bit my tail. <laughs> Pudding, it's only a little crab. It's no big deal. Come back in. Nah, I think I've had enough of diving, Grandpa. Know what, Pudding? You're right. I'm with you. If I'm underwater, I'll never get a tan. Well, fine then. I'll just find that beautiful groovy shell all by myself. <laughs> Later, the kittens were using Grandpa's binoculars to look all around. Wow, look at the mountains there, with all those little birds. Hey, let me see. And me! Paws off! Get Give em. Em. I'm not done! <gasps> oh. oh no! Grandpa's gonna be furious! <laughs> Really good idea? We could go scuba diving for them. <laughs> that is a great idea. Jump in. Grandpa kept an eye on the kitty cats, pleased as punch that they were realizing how awesome diving could be. You like diving after all? It's great. Look what we found. I found some really awesome treasure. And I found this pretty shell. Oh, that is exactly the kind of shell that I was hoping to find. I should be taking scuba diving lessons from you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grandpa, why were you looking for a seashell like that? What does it do? Why, this shell has the sound of the whole ocean inside it. So beautiful. Mm. There, put it to your ear. Scuba diving is not a simple thing to do, but the kitty cats learned that if you stick with it, you can find some truly wonderful things. Winter fun with Daddy. One winter's day, Daddy decided to bring the kitty cats to a park for some fun sledding on the snowy slopes. We'll have a great time mm. playing in the snow with Daddy. <laughs> wow, this is great. We can do whatever we want. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Kittens, two things. Listen when I tell you something, and we have to be home by lunchtime. Wow. There were so many slopes, they didn't know which one to choose. I want to huh? ride down this one. I want to go on uh, that one. Oh. No, that one over there. Uh. Oh, now, kittens, we can only stay for a few hours. Come on, we have to hurry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> 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 
kittens. No taking naps in the snow. <laughs> okay, well, it's time we headed home. Aww. But we haven't even had a chance to slide down the biggest slope. <laughs> Well, I suppose we can do one more run. To get to the top of the highest slope, Daddy and the kittens needed to ride a special lift. Wowee! Oh, cool! Oh. Cookie, keep your scarf on. It, it's windy up here. But, Dad, I'm really hot. And plus, there's no wind here at all. Whoa! That wouldn't happen if you'd listen to me. Now we have to go rescue your scarf. <laughs> well, hurry up. Hey, I wonder, if I fall into a snow pile down there, will I turn into a big snowball? <laughs> oh, ha, it would be really fun. Oh, I wonder how far down you can ride this slope. Remember, we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> that was awesome! And now we must rescue Cookie Scarf from the tree. Huh? Now don't shake the tree or you'll get covered with snow! <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you that would happen. <laughs> huh? ah! Now we need to head home, yes? Huh? Uh, what's wrong? The kittens wanted to go for one more ride. The three of you promise we'll leave right after this? Sure, Daddy! But then the snow started falling. I wonder which one of these snow piles is our car. We really need to get out of here. <laughs> this one is green. It's not ours. This one's blue. Not ours. It's red. Hey, everyone, I think I found our car. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for digging my car out of that mountain of snow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm so tired and cold, and I'm really hungry. <laughs> Me too, Pudding. None of this would have happened if we listened to Daddy in the first place. <laughs> it's great that you understand that, kittens. But right now, we need to solve the witch's our car mystery. I have a really good idea. Daddy should click the beeper on his key. <laughs> I guess I should have thought of that in the first place. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> well, let's dig our car out of the snow and head home. Mommy's expecting us. By listening to Daddy and working together, the kittens made it back for lunch with Mommy, happy and excited to be home after a morning on the slopes. Exercising kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens. Join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Oh. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. 
stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. Uh, uh, what if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! Huh? Huh? Grandma, that was amazing! You looked like some kind of super cat or something. There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea. Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we do a few exercises all together. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. Cookie Scooter Skills. One day, the kitten saw a commercial showing a cat on a super fab scooter. <laughs> Oh, wow! Look how cool that scooter is! I want to do that, too! Super Skill Scooters are so cool, they'll make you cooler than this cool cat! Awesome! Daddy, I need the cool scooter from the commercial! I've been saving up! I want to use my money to get it! Ah, so an ordinary scooter simply won't do? No! A normal one doesn't come close to the same level of coolness! <laughs> okay, well since you're paying for most of it, I guess we better get the cool one. Ah, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! At the store, Cookie bought everything he needed to look just like the cat in the TV commercial. Cookie, you look like the coolest cat of all time. You do look quite handsome. Now I'm going to be able to do some super cool tricks. Watch this. Whoa! Now, was that a cool trick or not? Not. Falling's not cool at all. It's a really good thing that Cookie's wearing a helmet and pads. I'm only warming up, so I'll be even cooler than the coolest cat who ever lived. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
Something's wrong with this dumb little ramp, obviously. How about instead I just jump over the sandbox? Whoa. Turns out you're the coolest cat never. Which doesn't look handsome at all. I know why none of my tricks are working. Obviously, the scooter's broken. You need to take it to the place you got it and trade it in for a good one. Daddy and the kittens went to the store to let the sales cat examine the scooter. There's nothing wrong with this scooter. In fact, it's in perfect working order. Yeah? Then could my helmet be messed up? Nothing wrong with the helmet. What about the... Your safety pads are also just fine. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. We'll get going then. Maybe it just fixed itself on the way here somehow. Cookie, what part exactly was broken? Cookie couldn't do super cool stunts, like the awesome rider on TV. Well, since we've learned it isn't broken, maybe you can do cool tricks now. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to ride down these oh. steps. Cookie, stop! <laughs> Uh, 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 Cookie, you don't know how to ride downstairs, and I don't either. Does that mean that the cool TV cat can't really do them? And the super skill scooter isn't really cool at all? Were they just lying about it? <laughs> Not at all. That cat on TV can really do those cool tricks. Come with me. I'll show you what I mean. Daddy and the kittens went to the skate park, where the cat from the commercial was practicing. <gasps> Whoa! Wow! I can't make my scooter do all that, even though I've got the same exact model you have. <laughs> I can do all this stuff on my scooter because I practice all the time, like for hours and hours every day. It's a lot of hard work. Oh, so then it's not the scooter that's cool, but the rider. I have a really good idea. Cookie just needs some time to practice. If he does, soon he'll be doing lots of super cool tricks. Yeah, that's right. I'd be glad to give the little dude a lesson or two. So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! The kittens learned that every skill requires practice. Then, you can do cool tricks on any scooter. Tennis with Dad. One day, Mommy was talking to someone on the phone. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, it sounds like a wonderful idea. When would you like to play? Okay, well, I'll see you then. Hmm. And what are you going to be playing, my darling? Well, you and I will be playing together. Doubles tennis with Chase's mom and dad. Whoa! You mean you're going to play a tennis match? So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! But, Kitty, hold on. I'm not really the best tennis player. That's all right. I can pick up the slack for you. We'll play a few sets. Uh, only one set, all right? I've got things to take care of. All right, one set and that's all. Off to the gym. Have to be in great shape for tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna lose no matter what, and it'll all be my fault. Hey, don't worry, Daddy. You've still got plenty of time to practice. That's right. We can help you, Daddy. The backyard was the perfect place to practice. The key to doubles tennis is to stay out of your partner's way and return the ball. Daddy, just pretend that all of these things are Mommy, and remember to keep away from them. This is Mom, then? <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, kitty dear, I'm sorry. Oh, oh pardon me. <laughs> oh, oh, that was an accident. Oh, ah, oh, hey, oh, oh no, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. What's wrong? Daddy hasn't hit a single tennis ball yet. He's not moving fast enough to get them. He'd be much faster if he wore a pair of roller skates. But I never figured out how to stop on roller skates. I get in Mommy's way even more like this. Uh, maybe you could just stand in one spot and wait for the ball to come to you. If you did that, you wouldn't get in Mom's way. <laughs> be like Mommy was playing all by herself. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid is going to happen. 
When it comes to tennis, I'm the worst. <sighs> to cheer everyone up, Daddy offered the kitten some tea along with his signature cake. You may not be the world's greatest tennis player, Daddy, but you make the yummiest desserts ever. Right. Good-looking ones, too. Just look at that icing. Learning how to bake like this took quite a lot of practice. I had to learn the basics first, such as how to whip cream. I've got a really good idea. I know how we can teach Daddy tennis now. Oh, uh, I thought we were finished with all that tennis stuff. Daddy, there's no need to worry. I promise you'll do awesome this time. <laughs> oh. In tennis, just like in anything else, it's best to start with the basics and eventually move on to bigger things. <laughs> <laughs> We might have won the set, but you guys played excellently. I was surprised. Yeah, you played so wonderfully, darling. Too bad you can't play longer. It'd be great to play some more sets. <laughs> we could play another ten sets. I'm absolutely free until tonight. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> And that's how simple exercises helped Daddy to believe in himself. Because it always feels good to just try your very best. Championship. With only a few more days left until kickoff, you can bet the stadium will be flooded with fans very soon. And here comes our city's own team and their glorious captain. <laughs> Are we going to the stadium, too? Of course we are, kittens. It's the only way to truly support our team. Oh. In fact, I was just about to call and book our tickets this minute. We'll get to watch the game right there at the stadium, just like real fans. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! <laughs> we'll get to see our team win. And after the game, we can drive back waving our winning team's flags. No! No! Huh? Uh, 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 oh, no! Oh, what happened, honey? There are no more tickets left. They've already sold out every seat. Oh, all is lost. Oh. It doesn't really matter, my darling. I'm sure we'll survive. We'll just watch the game on television. <laughs> Come now, I'll make some nice tea for you. Poor Daddy, he's such a mega fan. I feel bad for him now. Attention, soccer fans. The contest for the best trick with a soccer ball is now underway. The winner will be awarded an official team ball presented by the captain himself. Hey, we need to win that ball for Daddy because that would really cheer him up. I will now bounce this ball on my head a hundred times. One, two, three, oops. Just a sec. This time for real. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. One, two. Oh. All right, maybe I can not bounce it a hundred times. Well, maybe you could make just one tricky shot. A super incredible one. Hey, Cookie here. I will now kick this ball through that door. Then it'll roll down the slide on the other side. Cool, let's try. Ah! Ugh. Ouch! I don't think I can do it. I have a really good idea, but to make it work, we'll need a little help from our friends. The kitten's friends agreed to help them perform the ball trick. 
we ready? Yeah! yeah. All right, let's do it! Now let's send this into the trick shot contest. The next day, they announce the contest winner. And the winner of the trick shot contest huh? is Cat the Artist. Aww. For his creative approach to soccer. He will receive an official team ball from the captain. But we'd also <laughs> like to mention another special video from the Kitty Cats and Friends. No way, they're showing our video. And as a special prize, all these adorable kittens and their parents will receive tickets to the championship game. Awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The stadium is completely full today. The home team leads to the score of two to zero. The captain's power kick. The ball soars high into the air and it's by the hand of the puppy of Spain. Watching the championship match and cheering for your team from the stands can be a wonderful experience, especially when you're with your family. Off to the races. One day, the kittens brought remote controlled cars to the playground. Now, car number one speeds ahead of the pack. Rounding all obstacles. Hey, I think we should build our own racetrack on the playground. So we can have a race? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But I want to be in the race as well. Do you even know how to drive these cars? Well, no, but I'd really like to learn. May I? Uh, okay, fine. This drives the car forward, and this button makes it go backward. Finally, you steer it by turning hmm. this little wheel. Ah, it seems simple enough. Not that way! No, oh. stop! Um, let me try to back up. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Uh -huh. Which way are you going? Uh. Go backwards! Reverse! Well, that's about uh. enough of that. Everybody knows that girls aren't any good at driving. They just aren't quick enough. Uh, but girls are really good at pushing strollers, so that's something. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's put a really sharp turn. And then we can put a ramp here. I'm gonna prove to them that girls are every bit as good at driving cars as boys are. Candy found the remote control that operates her robo-fish. Excellent, now I just need a little practice. Huh? <laughs> Oh, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh, oh. Driving fast doesn't mean driving well. When I drive home from the supermarket, I try to avoid every pothole and bump and turn very gently because I don't want to spill my groceries everywhere. <laughs> I've got a really good idea! Candy drove the robofish very carefully to keep her favorite doll safe. All set for the race? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
What is that thing? A sardine mobile? <laughs> <laughs> Candy the sardine driver. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Candy. Hurry up. Flap your fins faster. <laughs> <laughs> Drivers, start, start your, your engines. engines. Go! Go! <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, no way! The fish swam across the line first. It's first, middle, and last. Then Candy wins and we all lose. It looks like girls can become good drivers after all. And since I was victorious, you boys have to push my doll carriage. Just do it carefully, please. Turns out not only being fast, but also being careful can help win the race, no matter how big or small. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? <laughs> hey, pudding, catch! <laughs> wow, thank you! <laughs> and remember when I tried volleyball? <laughs> 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 Of us. I'm perfectly sure that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Don't even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. <laughs> Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. Wow, those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. I have a really good idea. 
Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. Snowy slopes and snowboards. One snowy morning, the kitty cats couldn't wait to get outside and ride their sleds and play on their slide. Oh, good morning, darling kittens. Where are you headed this early? Sledding and sliding. But it had snowed all night long, and the slide was completely covered. Um, where did our slide go? Well, let's just ride our sleds down the slope that the slide made. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> awesome time! <laughs> but their sled sank right down into the loose snow. This is much harder than sliding on our slide. Hey, I think I can see it under here. <laughs> Let's dig it out then, all right? It'll be easy. Let's do this. <gasps> but digging out the slide turned out to be harder than they thought. <laughs> oh. It'll be summer before we're done with this. Daddy! Yeah. Daddy! Will you take the slide out from the snow with us? Yeah, I'd be happy to. As soon as I finish watching this exciting snowboard show. Man number three is shredding and speeding his way down the slope. What a run! Oh, wow! I want to snowboard on our slide! Eh, uh, a snowboard requires a much larger slope. Our slide just isn't big or safe enough. Well, at the moment, we haven't got a slide at all. Mommy! 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 Can you help us dig out our slide from under the snow? I'm sorry, my darlings. I'm late for the gym. If the snow is covering the slide, why don't you play, uh, something else? But the kitty cats didn't want to play something else. I heard that if you put salt on snow, the snow will totally melt. What if the salt melted the slide, too? Well, maybe we should just get a bulldozer. Our slide would be out of the snow in no time. I think a bulldozer would clear away more than just the snow. Hey, hey our, our slide! slide! Then we need to make a snowball that's truly, really huge. Then roll it down the slide to clean off the snow. What, what a, a great, great idea! idea. Now that is an impressive ball of snow. All that's left is for us to roll it down. And push, and push, and pull. <laughs> Who's there? Hmm, that's strange. No one's here. Aww. Now the slide was covered in more snow than ever. Even a bulldozer couldn't dig our slide out of that enormous mountain. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Can I get a little help up here? Hey, that's Daddy's snowboard. It turned out Daddy's snowboard was perfect for riding on loose snow. Whee! <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, oh, wow! wow. wow. <laughs> My class at the gym was canceled, but riding with you looks more fun. Excuse me. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Ha! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> now this gigantic hill is perfect for snowboarding. <laughs> Just let that daddy cat show you how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Snowy slopes can be a mountain of fun, but they're even better when the whole family plays on them together.